What's up, everyone? I'm doing a um, cubing session because there's a big sale right now, apparently. I only had about 600 mil to spend. Um, hold on, let me turn my music down. I only had about 600 mil to spend, unfortunately, but uh, I do have things I can upgrade. I mean, I could always upgrade my emblem, but I'm gonna put these towards getting everything kind of on the same tier at first. Uh, first of all is going to be the Connor ring because that being rare is not very good. So let's see if we can get this tiered up a little bit. All right, not bad. Oh, three lines of decks. Come on, dude. That would have been so nice. Strength and all stats. Uh, I'll, I'll keep this for now. It's it's pretty okay. I'll keep it for now. I'll keep my stat window open as well. That's pretty alright. That pushes me over 5k. Um, I'd like to get a line of attack and IED. That would be fantastic. Uh, of course, this isn't a huge deal as long as it doesn't tear up to unique before I get something... Or before I run out of cubes. Because uh, I have plenty of... A Colts. Ideal line for Epic would be a magic or attack six percent and fifteen IED. Well, nine percent magic attack that would have been good. <sighs> yeah, if you look, that's almost twenty thousand more damage. That is 20,000 more damage just from 6% attack, so fuck it. We'll just roll with that. Uh, I am gonna throw a lot of these cubes on here, try to get maybe two lines of attack if possible. That'd be awesome, but you know, my, my cube luck right now ain't amazing, so I'm not really counting on it. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with that. The um the crit rate's not a huge deal because I have sharp eyes, but that's the um those are the lines I wanted, and that'll be that's not bad. That's 87% IED. Not super high, but it's it's gonna be good for the time being. Um there's really not much else I can cube at this point. Right now, I'm at the stage where I'm just trying to get all of my gear to 6% strength. Uh, epic. So, you know, I really could throw some cubes on this frozen cape and try to get <laughs> try to get 3%. Because as much as I don't think I'll be using this cape very much, the 3% strength would be better than, you know, literally nothing. That clip you just watched was from a small cubing session I did during the cube sale that they had recently. I didn't make great gains because I had such a small amount of money to work with, but overall it was good. Shortly before that, I cubed my Zakum eye accessory to try and get any kind of decent potential on it. I got the 3% strength line and didn't manage to tear it up to epic, so I just settled for that. After that, in an effort to cap coins, I grinded a bit and reached level 206, decided to keep grinding a little more and reached 207. Reset had occurred at this point, so I did my RA runs and received another advanced potential scroll. My belt needed some potential on it, so I used it on that, and after two trash cubes, it actually teared up to epic with 9% strength. Quite happy with that, to be honest. 
After I did my dailies, I leveled up my Vanishing Journey symbol again, this time reaching level 4. And after I capped coins for the day, I was close to leveling again, so I just finished off the level and reached 208. At this point, I was getting tired of my etc. inventory filling up so quickly, and I realized I hadn't worked on professions at all so far, so I went ahead and started leveling up alchemy using a bunch of materials I had on other characters. One thing you'll notice uh, at the earlier levels is that I'm crafting items that don't have a 100% success rate. The reason for this is, since the amount of mastery you need to level up at lower levels is so low, it only takes a few successes to level up, so for me it wasn't worth gathering low level materials just to level up a couple times when I have so many higher level materials available to me on other characters. Eventually after purchasing the fatigue reset drinks from the uh, awake shop, I was able to reach level 10 alchemy, which is the first step towards making the material bags I wanted. Weekly reset occurred, and I purchased three epic potential scrolls from the Legion shop, and they, uh all failed. Maybe a foretelling of what comes next. Hello everybody. Uh, I just woke up a little bit ago, as is usually the case, so I apologize if I sound weird. Anyway, I got a little bit of NX and I wanted to get some of these Autumn Surprise Boxes because these uh, surprise boxes are actually usually pretty worthwhile. Um... Again, I don't want to pretend like you should rely on probability for anything. I'm just doing this for the content and because I, I really like these boxes. I always find that I get useful stuff out of them. So without further ado, let's open up 11 of these. Two all-star hair coupons, all right. Two hair color coupons, pretty garbage. Two more hair color coupons, very garbage. Eye color coupon, super garbage. Face slot, maybe a little useful. Hair color VIP, pretty garbage. Three more all-star all hair coupons. Okay. Another all-star <laughs> hair coupon. Two premium surprise style boxes. Okay, that's not bad. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Some royal hair coupons, and last but not least, three more royal hair coupons. So we got a fuck ton of royal hair coupons. Oh, also, I just want to point out, um, because I'm a male character, I can't wear this fucking awesome dress that I got, which makes me so mad. I guess ultimately, it's not that bad. But look at all this other extra junk I paid for that I'm not going to use. Like, we have this Starlit Dreamweaver, which is kind of okay, but it doesn't match. <clears throat> it just doesn't match anything. And I'm not generally a fan of hiding weapons on characters. I think weapons are what make characters kind of cool. And, of course, this Fafnir weapon kind of covers, like, my whole body, but... Not super happy with this outcome. So I really had bad luck with the random boxes I purchased. I didn't really like any of the hairstyles I received from the All-Star hairs. Just one of them turned out to be passable, so I switched to that shortly after. And as you can see from the video, I claimed the Awake Unit Damage skin. I didn't really like it much, so I switched back to my hard-earned Basic Unit Damage skin. After that, I was feeling the itch to grind and cap coins some more, so I reached level 209 and claimed the Event Level Up Potion that brought me straight to level 210 immediately after that. Thank you. 
since I was level 210, it was then time to start doing the Choo Choo pre-quests. These were surprisingly easy and only took me maybe 40 minutes to complete. Definitely shorter than like any character I've ever gotten to this point. I leveled up my alchemy some more and was close to being able to craft the material bags I wanted, so I searched around popular training maps trying to find gold flowers I could yoink from people for the materials I needed to craft them. I received enough eventually and managed to craft a 10 slot herb bag and a 10 slot mineral bag and organized everything into them. But that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Next episode will be out much sooner because uh, it's actually just a continuation of the recordings that I planned on putting in this episode. It ended up being so long, I was able to make it two episodes. So I'll see you guys then.